Right now, I'm at 1723 Lakewood Avenue in front of Family Dollar. Unfortunately, I received a call this morning from a friend of mine who you all have seen around town. His name is David McGlory. He has the advertising company with the LED screens that have messages all around. I'm sure you guys seen them downtown. We've done a myriad of things together. Well, unfortunately, on Saturday, his son was shot right here in front of Family Dollar by an unknown assailant. Apparently what happened was David Jr. sells cell phones. And this gentleman called him up to meet right here in front of this Family Dollar. The individual contacted him through Instagram or Facebook of some sort and basically um, contacted my son about, hey, let's meet at this location. So again, being broad daylight, my son felt comfortable to the situation. Hey, I'll meet you. And basically at that point, um, him and the individual are out here, out here talking, from my understanding, like 20, 30 minutes. Individual goes inside the store, comes back out supposedly with money, more or less, or whatever, and at that point attempts to move, um, you know, proceed with the robbery. Um, again, my son is trying to pull away either back with the, the money or the phone or whatever. I haven't got that part of the story just yet. Um, and they get into a tussle. The individual again fires and shoots him in the chest again right above his heart. So David Jr. figured, yeah, why not meet him here? It's a public place. It's well lit. There's cameras all around. He should be good. Well, unfortunately, that wasn't such a good idea at all. This young man was shot in the chest, and he is now fighting for his life at Grady Hospital. Just this morning, from my understanding, he had surgery. They're going to uh, put some type of uh, Brock camera or some sort down into his chest, um, which, again, kind of can see where and why there's fluid building up into his lungs. Um, he is able to communicate little uh, by like writing, writing like messages or text, um, you know, via phone or whatever. But he, of course, he can't speak because he has so many valves and tubes and all kind of other different things hooked up to him. Um, so again, like I said, we're just trying to just keep him in our prayers and do the best that we can on our behalf and whatever I can do to get the word out. So of course, I, I thought it would be useful to again utilize my tools, which I have the the advertising trucks to put, you know, because we're going to offer a reward of $3,000 for the information or whereabouts of the individual that was, um, who did this. It's beyond words. And I'm trying to somewhat stay focused, but at the same time be positive for my son. Because it does me no good if I'm over angry and now I'm looking for revenge, but it's not helping the situation. So let me try to calm myself and use my network use my tools, whatever it is, to get the word out and, and get this guy off the streets. Because he's, if he's done it to my son, I'm pretty sure he's done it before and he's gonna do it again. And hopefully it won't be your family next.